If I were to ask you where the 120 some disciples were waiting on the day of Pentecost, likely you'd say in the upper room where Jesus celebrated his last supper, right? I mean, doesn't it say in Acts chapter 2 that they met in a house? A house? Well, is it the temple of God? A house? Isn't it the house of the Lord? When I was in Jerusalem, I had my thinking changed on this. You know, the, uh, the day of Pentecost was 10 days after Jesus ascended into heaven. And Luke gives us a clue as to where the disciples were in Luke chapter 24. It says, while he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then the disciples worshipped him and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy and they stayed continually in the temple praising God. So in other words, they weren't hidden in some upper room in a nondiscreet home in the middle of Jerusalem kind of laying low. They were sitting in the temple in broad daylight waiting for the day of Pentecost. Uh, and on that day there were gathered thousands and thousands and thousands of Jews they were at the temple because they were required to make a pilgrimage on one of these feast days. In fact, in Acts 2.5, it says, Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven to witness this miracle. Now the clincher for me was realizing that as I stood on the southern steps in Jerusalem, they had excavated a number of mikvah pools. Now what's a mikvah pool? It's a place where a Jew will become ceremonially clean. It's like a baptism. A Jew would step into a mikvah pool to become cleansed and ready to enter the temple. Uh, there were hundreds of these mikvah pools at the steps leading into the Temple Mount. So on the day of Pentecost, when Peter preached after the pouring out of the uh, tongues and speaking in different languages, he said to the disciples, with, or to those gathered, he said, with many other words he warned them and he pleaded with them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to their number on that day. Now, there is no body of water in Jerusalem big enough to baptize 3,000 people in one day except at the steps of the Temple Mount. There are hundreds and hundreds of these mikvah pools where they were baptized. So can you imagine the scene in the shadow of the most holy site in the Jewish religion, the Christian church is born.